Welcome to Affinity Photo. We're going to take a look at refining selections and masks. So basically, once you've created your initial selection, using whichever tools you prefer, I've just used the selection brush here. Obviously, this subject, with its fur, has a lot of extra detail that we might want to include in the selection. So to fine-tune this selection, we'll go up here to Refine. And by default, we have a red overlay with our selected area showing through. So to begin refining this selection, I'll increase the brush size. And just to demonstrate, you can click drag onto an area to refine. So I've chosen these hairs around the back of the head. Okay, as we can see, it's selected these individual strands of hair. We also have some extra areas that we didn't want selected, so we'll just cover how to get rid of those. You can choose from here whether you're matting your selection or adding to it, taking away or feathering it, but you can also use modifier keys. So to remove this area from the image, I can reduce the brush size and hold down the modifier key whilst I click drag. And don't worry about the jaggy edges. Okay, so then we can move further down the image and click drag across some more of these areas, like so. Then we've got a long strand coming out here. So we'll do the same to all these individual strands. Okay, moving further down. We'll just repeat this process around the rest of the image. Okay. Okay, again, we've got an area here that we don't want included, so once again we can hold down the modifier key to remove this part. Then we can try again, this time being more precise, with the areas we're selecting. Okay, so we've fine-tuned our selection slightly, so we'll go ahead, click Apply, then from this selection we'll create a new mask layer here, and then deselect. Okay, so once you've created your mask, you can go in and repeat that same refinement procedure. So you right-click the mask here, and choose Refine Mask. And you get the same dialog, so you can go back in and tweak your mask at any time. So, for example, I might want to add to the mask, so I can hold down the modifier key and just click drag around this area, and that will add to the mask. I can also look at some different overlay modes. Now that I've created a mask, if I go ahead and look at the transparent preview, you'll get a better idea of what it looks like with an alpha matte background. So, using the transparent preview, we can see some background spill here, we can also look at the other preview modes, such as black matte and black and white. So here we can see background spill areas that we might want to reduce using the modifier key. Again, in here and here and in here. Don't forget you can use the shortcut keys to reduce the brush size and increase it to be able to work in finer detail. Okay, and a tiny bit over here. So once again, using the modifier key. And here.
OK. We can also use these various slider options to further control our selection or mask. So for example, feathering basically softens the selection. As you can see here, we've softened the edges. So if we just take that down, smoothing, of course, smooths the edges. You end up eliminating a lot of the fine detail by using this, as you can see. Ramp basically controls the offset of the selection or mask. So for example, if I drag this all the way to 100%, it will expand the selection. Conversely, if I do minus 100, it shrinks or contracts the selection. And finally, border width is like the tolerance of the selection. So you'll see as I drag it to increase it here, more of these gaps will be closing and we end up with a tighter selection. Again, if I decrease this, we have some slightly more obvious color spill by reducing the border width. So once you're finished refining the mask, simply click apply and the changes you've made will be applied. So using the refine feature is incredibly powerful and it gives you so much control over your complicated selections and masks. If you have any questions or queries, please ask on the official Affinity forums. Thank you for watching.